Yep. Me and old Chuck, we're getting ready to do this uh, spelter socket job. It's inch and three quarter two leg. Uh, I'll keep some uh, videos coming to you. It's a hot day, it's humid. Wish I'd have done this on back in the winter. Been a lot better. Anyway, we'll get it done and we'll show you a little bit about it. All right, Chuck. We need that big pipe to dig in so we can open these big old fences. Yeah, we're getting started on this inch and three quarter two leg now. Y'all don't laugh at me now, I'm old. Now that's a thimble. Big old thimble right there, I think. Yeah, that's a It's time to sit down and drink a beer. Good, I have sweet tea. Ain't nothing easy about this job. This is better than digging ditches, though.
damn that hurt. There you go. <laughs> that hurt. I ain't done that to my glove. Damn, that hurt. <laughs> oh, we need that big old Peter for <laughs> I don't know if I can grip it. Got one leg spliced on. Did hit my hand. That kind of hurt. <laughs> this is all I could do to keep from cussing on the camera. After I done it, my hand cramped up. I kind of got a little nauseous. <laughs> I was like, oh man. Hit them bones in my hand. It's alright though. Just cut the skin back a little bit. <laughs> Ain't nothing. Went there and poured some alcohol on it. Your bones hurt as bad as mine hurt? Yep. We getting too gray to be doing this stuff. Well, we got a young fellow over there. He ain't got a gray, well, he got a little gray in his beard. I don't know why he ain't over here doing this. He's the young one of the bunch, but the two old people's the ones that do it. But anyway, I guess, me. I guess somebody's got to run that department over here too. But, yeah, we, uh, we moving right on along. We just took lunch. And I've been there whining about my hands more. It, it did hurt, I'm gonna tell you. But, but uh, yeah. So this is this is what we got so far. We gotta get back at it. What happened there? We had a strand jump a lay on us. When that happens, it can be difficult.
I hit it myself last time. So the next step is the other two leg spreader, just like this one. And I won't bore you with that one. And then we'll have to put these sockets on and broom the ends out. And uh, we'll show you a little bit about that too. There I was, back by you with me and my games. <laughs> And I know where one of them came up with me in the book. In the book box. And I was like, dude, I'm taking the book. Boy, I ain't right, I'm telling you. Well, we got a bigger splicing vise. You know what's back here that we do on, use on these? I forgot to put it on, so we're using a little one. Chuck's fault, he forgot to remind me. Are you sure those are channel lock? Slip joint lock. Okay, I didn't know if you was wanting that particular brand or what. No. Oh. I'm just making sure I had the right terminology here. Yeah. You're on camera, you gotta say things right, you know. Yeah, these are slip joint pliers, they're not channel locks. Boy, look at there. I am proud of that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You do it right, you don't need them. That's why I'm over here doing it. Tight. You sure that's all you got in? That's all right. <laughs> I don't, want, I don't want you to pull a muscle. <laughs> All right, slap happy. My hand still hurts. I can't use that thing. <laughs> buy scripts. I don't know. Is that the brand name? Or buy scripts. Just buy scripts. Buy scripts is the brand name, ain't it? These are not buy scripts. But what? What would you actually call them? Locking pliers. Locking pliers. Oh, okay. I, think I can go with that. Adjustable locking sign. I, I can accept that. Right there. All right. Somebody made a comment in the previous video. Why do I mark the sleeves? 
not sure if it's talking about this yellow mark or the green mark. The yellow mark, is when we take it out of this vise and we throw it on the floor, banging around on the concrete, dragging around, we want to make sure that sleeve don't slip back before we get it pressed. She was talking about the green mark that we put on the sleeve. We wrap a green mark on it that we actually laid eyes and hand on that sleeve to make sure it was pressed and that there wasn't no cracks on it. So that's why. Quality. This bad boy was getting hot. Humid this morning. Oh, big guy, big guy was in front of the camera. Cameraman, put the camera in the wrong place. Well, you know, I don't have a camera, man. Well, we, we do have one. He's just preoccupied at the moment. No, I said I need the camera, man. No, not me. I'm talking about someone else. He said a cameraman, Steven. Yeah. Y'all know anything odd about this? I'm not even gonna say. Let's just see if anybody out there knows what's wrong. That's just G and D. sure she don't come apart. I'm just here for moral support. Hey, you doing a good job there, Chuck. Hey, y'all watch this cousin. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's heading to his office. I gotta, you know, I gotta make big boy decisions. Hey, you know that uh, microphone is very sensitive, so keep it down in there, would you? I'll try to keep the corn low. Right. Yeah, we forgot to put the tag in there. I guess we better do that right now. 
a slow process, ain't it? A lot of people don't realize how much time it takes to make this stuff. That's why I like showing y'all these videos. Now, naturally, we uh, cut parts out and edit it, but you can see it takes a long time to do this stuff. Well, the next thing we got to do after we press this one is uh, start getting ready to put the sockets on the bottom of it. That'll be interesting. What do you think, Chuck? You ready to do them spelter sockets? Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah, they won't be too bad. They're time to them, but they ain't going to be too bad. what you call season the wire. That's what we do before we uh, broom the ends out. Well, we got the socket slid on now. Now we're gonna broom them out. All right, we got one of them broomed out. We got three more to go and we'll be done. The broom. Well, it's the next day. We got them. This one broomed out. Got it hanging. I didn't have uh, enough height on my gantry to raise it up high enough. And uh, as you can see, that's barely high enough to do it. I could have hung it off the forklift and, and soaked them, but I didn't want to tie my forklift up because this uh, the, this uh, grease is going to be hard to get off. It's going to take. A long time to dissolve it and get it off there so we use the fd greaser but this has got a, a, a tarry type lube on it lube on it and it's uh it's rough to get off but anyway we'll manage we're gonna use our old degreaser first before we use that new stuff well we got them soaking don't be fun lifting them up and see if they're clean or not i maxed out up there on my little horse i think we can figure it out all right guys it's friday morning uh we just got through uh cleaning those broomed ends and uh we uh, acid etched them put them in baking soap water to neutralize them and we're getting ready to pull the sockets on What I've got over here is a yellow line going up the rope. I got a 45 degree mark on here, so I'm excited about that. This is an inch and three quarter by 10 foot, two leg spreader. Working load limit is 49 ton at 60 degree. 
pretty strong, ain't it? Five times that braking strength. Normally, I'd have used one bigger can on this. These are 500, uh, what are they, 500, uh, 500 gram cans. I got some 1,000 gram cans in, but they didn't put the catalyst in the box. So Esco kind of irritated me on that. We was ready to pour and didn't have it, so I'm having to pour out of these little cans. You always want to pour it slow down the side of the socket. That way it'll flow into the bottom at an angle and not get his, not get an air bubble in it. You did put the hardener in it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know you did, but I know it could be easily forgotten. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for another one. Little cans will work you to death, won't they? Yeah. I'm up high on this ladder, higher than a kite now, smelling that stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go home and lay down. <laughs> so there's a lot that goes into this stuff. A lot more than people think. Ain't that right, Chuck? Yes, sir. A lot of work. I don't know if I like being called sir or not. I'm too young to be called sir. My daddy's a sir. Ah, people think that way. It's just a form of respect. That's all it is. I like people that have respect. Don't you? Yep. What are you trying to do? Are you saying you're respecting your elders? You live in older than me, so. That's what he did. He says he's respecting his elders. He's calling me the elder because I'm just a little bit older than he is. What, by a year? No. Two or three years. Oh, come on. How old are you? 52. You're only 52? Yeah. I guess that's what he's doing. So, we've gotten started on the inch and a half. We've got them broomed out. We're cleaning them now. We'll be putting the sockets on them and, in a little bit. Well, we've got the other end put on. Done. Now we're doing the other end. Yep, contractor went out on it. Right in the middle of this job. Boy, that messed me up. I had to put a chain fall up. Hmm, it's always something. Well, this is the last socket we gotta pull up. Yeah, my electric horse went out. I ain't got the part in yet to fix it, so I had to go manual. I hate these chain falls. trying to keep this a family uh, show here. He's trying hard. <laughs> you always got your finger in the wrong place. Both, we're both as tired as can be. I don't know anything happened at this point. <laughs> so, 
for those of you that always pick on me, why don't I just pull them up? Well, on the bigger ones we do. Now I want to show you why I don't like to do it. We could have put these on the end, but it's too much uh, trouble to do it. So I did it the other way, but I want to show you why I don't like doing it this way. Can you see that gap in there? Right in there, right up through there. It opens it up when the, when the strands close back up, it pushes them out. And that's why I don't like to do it. So when I can help it, I put them on from the end. It makes a better looking uh, pour. Strands don't lay open. See that one right there, how it did? Yeah. And you gotta pull that season strand off to get the socket up. So it's gonna open up on you. That's why I don't like to do it. So. There's the answer for all the y'all that asked me that question. They're laying good and flat now. We'll see how they look when we get done testing them. A lot of times they'll roll. This socket on this end down here will roll to the right and that one will roll to the left a little bit. Being as short as they are, I don't think they're gonna roll a whole lot, but they will somewhat. And they'll seat. Put them tags down in it. Best way to do it. Well, me and Chuck, Chuck mostly got them all done and put on a pallet. Look at this. Out of here. On to the next one.